Hello guys, here with a very cool Android app that just came out for non Jelly Bean devices. Um, this is the Nexus 4 like you see right here and this is the default Jelly Bean quick setting app which uh, is not an app, it's integrated to the system notification center and like you see it works very cool, awesome feature from Jelly Bean and which I truly like. Um, over here this is the Galaxy S2 which is pretty much outdated if you click over here and go to settings I want to show you guys this is my wife's phone so it's pretty much outdated I think there's a newer version Android version but I just decided to leave it like that so that way you guys can see that it actually works on devices outdated as well you don't have to be rooted to use this um, app as well and like you see it actually looks very cool very nice it looks just like almost the same as over here um, one big difference is the time like you see the time over here looks a lot bigger the time and date over here looks a lot smaller uh, and this picture right here this is uh, when you tap on it it takes you to my Google Plus profile over here if I tap on it it will take me to the phone call it will start dialing right away which is a very cool feature as well and you could change this as well and this app actually lets you go to setting mode. If you go to setting mode here, click here in setting mode. Um, by default, that picture is not going to be there. So if you want to delete something, all you got to do is click, touch, and hold. It will, and you drag it to your trash can, and it will delete it. Um, if you want to add another picture, you could go ahead and add here. And like I said, you could add any toggles that you want. There's lots and lots of toggles here. Um, you can even add applications to your quick settings or shortcuts or contacts in contacts you can add any contact of course um, it's better if you add a contact with uh, image that way it'll look a lot better it look a lot nicer so and these are images uh, contacts linked with Facebook so once I tap on it it's gonna show you your phone number your text messaging um, message option or your email and it's gonna show it right there so I'm not gonna show how it looks but I'm just gonna add it okay and so like you see there now if I add a phone number right there a little phone icon right there if I wanna add another one instead of calling texting again so now I chose this one and like you see over here it has a little mail which means text messaging or email which is very cool um, and if I tap on it automatically it's gonna open the text messaging app you can also drag in um, these icons anywhere you want in edit editing mode when you're on editing mode you could drag them anywhere you want. Uh, make sure if you're gonna get out of this settings on editing mode, you back up twice. You go like this twice, and it will automatically eliminate that red bar on top. If you go like this, hit the home button, you're still gonna see the editing mode. So don't freak out. That means that you're still in editing mode. You didn't, you didn't get out of the app properly. Um, of course, when you're in editing mode, you could toggle you could take any app that you want you and replace it with a new one and any toggle right there and if you want to add more things it's going to tell you that you need to upgrade to the pro version like you see there uh, the pro version is uh, $1.99 if I'm not mistaken and it gives you more options like more blocks more toggles you can add uh, long on uh, long click options as well and here if you tap over here you can also change the theme the way the buttons look you could click over here look at that that looks more better uh, that looks very nice there too and this one looks actually like a little bit more like touch whiz I'm gonna leave it like that so you guys can see how it looks click on there and click done and look at that that still looks very nice that still looks very nice here if we go again over here you could control this red bar right here look at that uh, normally I would love to, I will leave it there because it looks better like that uh, here you could also control the size of the hotspot right there I'll just put it like like that um, here change action um, here you can actually control the size of the buttons as well you can see that 
And here you got settings, here you control look and feel. Uh, make sure it, it, it vibrates every time you touch one. A lot of things you could do here, like put 24 hours instead of normal hours. Okay, almost forgot to mention that you, over here, if you want to go back to your regular no notifications, you could just tap right there, like you see there. Very easily, just like that. So don't worry about it. Your notification is very easy to access right here. And it's cool, it has that setting right here, which looks a little bit to the default one. Let's go ahead over here. Like you see right there, looks right. Uh, this cleans it, and this takes you to notification and everything else is just like it and it's totally free which is not bad nothing beats free and if you like it you could go ahead and buy the full version which is $1.99 but I think this honestly is enough because um, just like the jelly bean default one it doesn't have that much features you know it doesn't has that much blocks uh, this one as it is the light version it was gonna give you more flexibility than it would give you over here by default um, If you have a jelly bean if you have for example the Nexus 4 I could still add this app as well and it, and I can have them both I could have this settings and I could have these quick settings as well So you could go ahead and play with it if you have one on Nexus 4 too But this is pretty good Pretty nice feature for non Jelly Bean devices, guys. So, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you guys think about it. Till next time.